Picking out an engagement ring can be a complex process, and picking out a wedding band can be equally as complicated. I'm here to walk you through it. My name is Rachel, I'm the graduate gemologist and jewelry expert at Brightco Jewelry and Watch Insurance. Let's dive in. Picking out a wedding band is going to depend on two things. What is your style and what does your engagement ring require? Let's dive into style. When it comes to style, you basically have two options. You can have your engagement ring dictate the style because you can find the wedding band that is the perfect match to your engagement ring. What I mean by that is it's going to match the side view of your engagement ring. If there's diamonds on it, they'll be the exact same size. They'll match right up against it. If there are no diamonds or no gemstones on it, it would mimic the same plain um, band that you would see on your engagement ring. The other option is to go wild and crazy and get a ring that has nothing to do with your engagement ring is a completely different style. This allows your wedding band and your engagement ring to sit on their own separate stage. Now let's talk about what your engagement ring requires. So what do I mean by that? Some engagement rings are crafted and designed to allow a wedding band to see, sit completely flush up against it. It doesn't matter if it's the same style, if it's um, a different ring altogether, it will still, ring and ring will be right next to each other. Some engagement rings have what we call like a lower head or maybe a bezel or a halo of sorts where that wedding band actually has to be kind of, there's like a divot, like a contour in the wedding band so that it does sit flush and sort of cup the head of your engagement ring. Keep that in mind and learn which style your ring requires so that when you're shopping for your wedding bands, you can have a better idea of what to look for. Now let's say that your engagement ring does require a sort of curved or contour band. You have a decision to make. Some people don't mind that there's actually going to be a gap in between their wedding band and their engagement ring because they think about it from a wearability standpoint. Sometimes they don't always wanna wear their engagement ring and they wanna opt some days to just wear their wedding band. If there will be days where you're just wearing your wedding band, you probably don't want it to have a sort of curve or contour. In this case, the wearer might choose to get a straight band even though there would be a gap in between the wedding band and the engagement ring. Other people, it's very important for them that they do sit flush. So keep that in mind and figure out which one makes you feel most comfortable, whether it's a straight band or a contour band to sit flush. A wedding band can literally be any style, so don't be afraid to get creative with it. You don't have to use the same diamond shapes. You don't even have to use the same metal color. Find a ring that you absolutely love because you're going to wear it every day and pick it and match it with your engagement ring. Once you've selected a wedding band that you absolutely love, you have another decision to make. Are you going to have your rings soldered together or are you going to keep them separate? This is personal preference. Rings, when they're side by side, they are made out of, out of the same material. So throughout your lifetime, they are gonna rub against each other. Years and years down the road, you might see some wear and tear because of that. When rings are separated, the wear and tear is a risk, but it also gives you the flexibility to choose when you're gonna wear one or both rings or, or wear them individually as well. If you're worried about the wear and tear, or maybe your rings are twisting and not sitting right all the time, you might wanna get them soldered. A jeweler will go, they'll tack it, they'll solder them together, and it would just become one bridal set and it would move, on it, move together on its own. I'll let you make that decision. I hope this was helpful. Good luck searching for your perfect wedding band. We'll see you next time.